thing that's supposed to kill us is the very thing that we're saved from. Yeah. Amen, somebody. Uh, that's why the boat is afloat on top of the water, and it's a dangerous thing for water to come in the ship because the ship will begin to sink. Yeah. I wish I knew I was preaching tonight, but that this boat is really a metaphor for the church of Christ. And then you have fishermen. Those who have been called, those who have been appointed, those who have been anointed to catch fish, which are men that are in the sea. Yeah, Amen, somebody. Yeah. And what we want to do, our goal, our object, objective is to get men out of the sea and to the ship. Yeah. Amen, somebody. And that's why Jesus said, I have called you to be fishers of men. Amen, Amen somebody. Yeah. But in order for the Anderson to catch some fish, you got to have something to catch fish with. Then you just got to have a net. The net is the implement. The net is the apparatus that is used to toss out into the sea. And when you close it up, you catch men that are in the sea. And you bring them out of the sea into the ship so that they can be saved. Is anybody getting this in there? Because if we ain't getting this by now, I got to start all over again. They know somebody submit because the next are our, our ministries it is the way that we reach out to others. Amen somebody. We cast our nets broadly so that we can catch all kinds. Yeah. And when we close up the net, all kinds come into the body of Christ. Now, you can't pick and choose what kind, what kind of fish come into the ship. The Lord said when you pull out your net, all kinds to the ship. You got some snook, you got some catfish, you got some bass, ain't no somebody. Every now and again you'll get an eel. You got some colorful fish, you got some crazy fish, you got some, some solid fish. Don't even talk about all that every night. You got some snook. You got all kind of fish that you like and fish that you don't like. The matter is that God loves all fish. You can pick and choose what kind of fish come into the ship. And that's right. You catch the fish and the Lord will clean the fish. I wish y'all knew I was preaching that night. And somebody, we, want the, we want the fish clean already, but it don't work like that. No, we ain't going to the fish market this time. We don't catch fish for real, for real. If you catch a drug up, the Lord will take the drugs from it. If you catch a the Because he wants you to see in the spirit. He wants you to interpret 
uh, the narrative so that you can appreciate the content that's in the narrative. Amen, somebody. He said, when he came uh, to the Sea of Galilee, Gennesaret, Tiberias, he saw two ships, watch this, and they were standing. That's a word in the Greek, it's in the passive. It means that they just sitting there.
your trash in the net. You get the green. Come on, go get caught. In the net. You get stuff that's undesirable. In the net. You get issues that you don't want in the church. In the net. You get problems that you didn't ask for. In the net. You get you get a fish sometimes, but you get a bill king. You stand too close 
to the show. This, this church is playing safe. This, this church ain't putting nothing on the line. Nothing ventured, nothing bad. He said, uh -huh. I'm, not, I'm not satisfied with this ship just sitting right here in shallow water. Ain't no big fish in no shallow water. I want y'all to catch some big fish. There's some, there's some stars out there. Ain't there somebody? Every now and again, you get a little minnow and you jump up and down. Uh uh. The Lord got some minnow fish. For the church to fry. Ain't there somebody? We ain't just be dealing with the look of the issues that we have. We need to be dealing with some other stuff. Amen. We need to stop arguing about five and ten and fifteen and twenty dollars. Amen, somebody. If you want to argue, let's argue about a million dollars. Arguing about who over this and who over this, who run the church. Amen. And it's my turn to do that. Amen, somebody. Jesus say, run out into the deep. It's alright to have issues, but don't keep having the same old issues.
the east side and the west side, and the north side and the south side, the downtown and the uptown and the midtown. Ain't gonna survive. We got work to do. We are here. I don't even know whether or not I can stand up and clap my head. Watch this. 
is sudden. This is a master. I'm a bishop man. Can I fix this up? Man? You know, this, this is what I do, remember? When I first met me, I was doing this. You know, I'm about, I'm about the best at this. And he's telling the Lord to stay in his land. Watch, 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 watch this. It's right there in the text. He says, he says, Master. Up to now, he's been calling him Lord. Curios, which means you are soft. You have all power. You have all authority. He didn't say Lord. He said Master. In other words, I'm a fisher. You're a teacher. preceding a chapter she been calling him Lord all around. But then all of a sudden the Lord trying to tell him what to do and how to do it. Amen somebody. And he thinks he know better than the Lord. He calls the Lord Master. Not only that, but he said we've been out there already. We, we tried that already. Them fish ain't biting out there this morning. Amen somebody. I'm a fisherman. I know the Serena better than you. Jesus, you need to stay in the lane. Because we do 
used up out of tradition. <laughs> we do this every year. But the Lord said, run out into the deep. Stop being self-serving, church. This is why we're serving the Lord. Let's do something I did in the community. Y'all didn't say that in the Lord, right? They take it into their part. We, we, we need some out-of-the-box ministries. Wait, wait a counseling center. Somebody got an MS degree in counseling up in here. Somebody's a social worker up in here. Somebody know how to work with you up in here. Somebody's a teacher. Somebody's a principal. And then where are our stuff at? All the time. I'm just obeying it to the girl all the time. Put on back that amen corner. Y'all ain't hooking me back there. Y'all ain't hooking me since I started preaching up in here. Amen, somebody. Yeah, we can have our own school. Not too many really got to go out to these other schools and be exposed to all of this stuff. Call me, come over here and help me. That's why you're praying together. Let's get this head off the ground. Amen, somebody. We ain't going higher, longer, and deeper than we are together. Yeah. Everybody ain't got everything. Peter got a boat. James and John read the text. James and John jumped in their boat. They got their own boat. They jumped in their boat when I got there. The other fellas got the net and the Lord no one to fish at. No one person has everything. But when they put all that stuff together, what an impact they made. Matter of fact, when they do every ministry that they could, when they threw every resource that they could at the sea, they still were on one way. Amen. So they had to test up down and build bigger stuff. Because they no longer had room. They didn't wait that they were doing it before. Y'all ain't seen this straight. That's all right. That's all right. That's all right. I had to preach this in there. I just need you to know that it's deeper. Amen. Amen. We could be so much further down the road. We should all take that to We could be so much further down the road. We have our own stuff. We should not be going to the bank begging and we got a whole lot of money in the church. The problem is to stay in the pockets. Yeah. We can just see a bigger picture. And know that it's deeper than that. If we can just get these ships off the shore, stop playing the same. Do something that takes some faith. Don't take no faith to do what we're doing right now. We need to have some faith. That's when you got to lean, depend, and trust in the Lord. Because there ain't no way this thing going to work except God be with us. I say, man, I'm kidding. I'm closing. Peter came down there, fell down at Jesus' feet. He says, Lord, forgive me. Have mercy on me. He said, I'm a sinner. Yeah. You know what Peter was repenting of, y'all? Y'all know what he was repenting of? He didn't see the potential that he had. In other words, Peter was saying, we could have been. We could have been in. Did so much more. But we up there down his word and got no faith satisfied with the status quo. Most of the fish got away and both of the ships were sinking. If Peter had some fish, he said we could have brought out the whole fleet of ships. Yes. You see that? And this church would be on a whole nother level. He was repenting. He said, I am a sinner. In other words, I wasted time, talent, and treasure. I could have accomplished so much more. Countless souls could have been. Yes, sir. Folk that we've been running yes. around could have came to this place and found them. Yeah. Well, all of us collaborate together. We yeah. got to win yeah. nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. Yeah. We could have been all the God we had to have was some vision. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry. Yeah. If we 
reading all this word and ain't putting none of it down. I should have been what you told me. I 
counselor to start and learn my name for a long time ago. I had this idea. My cow would be falling out of my head. All I had to do was forgive a long time ago. I'm drinking poison and expecting somebody else to die. I wouldn't have to pop all of these pills. I wouldn't have to smoke these cigarettes. All I got to do is trust your word. You already said that tonight. Got to be knocking on your door. Amen, somebody. Lord, I'm sorry. I've I been healed, but I ain't been following you. Come on, Daddy. Stop knowing everything. Oh my that don't work. Oh, I take the weak things of the world to find the things that are mighty. The foolish things to found the things that are wise. Don't, don't tell God what he's doing. He is God all by himself. Oh Jesus, help me on. Sister, don't 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 run him down. Pay for it. Brother, stop talking about it. Pray for let the, let the Lord do the work. Amen, somebody. Amen. Stop cussing for the out and go ahead and bless them out. Yeah. <laughs> Trust him with your children. Trust him with your marriage. Trust him with your finances. So I told you to go in the business a long time ago. You're still working for them. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
marriage has got to move out of the way. Word is about what people think. Amen. When you need Jesus, all you got to do is come up here, crawl up here, roll up here, run up here. Say, Lord, have mercy on me. Don't you worry about what folks say.
Do stuff I don't even want to do because I'm trying to teach my members. Amen. Amen. Yeah, yeah, we go. Let's go. Let's go because it's deeper than that. Come on, man. Let's go. Let's go. I know they don't like us, but come on, we going over there. Hey, praise the Lord, man, the house. Amen. Amen. Oh, you got to set a new tone. Amen. Amen. You got to get rid of that old man. Amen. 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 Deep repentance, what it means tonight, God has got it. Somebody say it's deeper than that. It's deeper than that. And if you know it's deeper than that, won't you come? Make it right. We're going to sing Hallelujah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Sing the song. We don't need no book. Sing. When we reach that.